over the past two days, I've had the great opportunity to go to a couple of schools and, you know, just do a little mentoring. One in middle school and one was an elementary school. You guys know I'm a mentor in South Metro. I've been a mentor, you know, in the community, schools, uh, youth athletic coach for over 20 years. And I, so I'm always in the community going to different schools, speaking to kids, right? But over the past two, two days, uh, I went to a middle school and a, an a elementary school. And I want to share two things that was glaring to me uh, in both those instances, right? So, again, I'm not new to dealing with youth or going to school, speaking with them. But the thing that kind of caught me off guard uh, yesterday was there was too much disrespect to authority. And I'm not the one to sit and play with children. Uh, but what I was seeing is that far too often, especially the young men, were back talking a lot of the female teachers and teachers in general, men too as well. Um, the the females, a lot of uh, young young ladies, they're kind of on point. They have yeah, you have one or two, and a lot of them have their little mamas here and there. But for the most part, there were too many young men that, to me, were challenging authority. And the issue that comes up with it, and I was telling those a lot of those young men, listen, you probably got about five or six more years left to you out there on your own where no one's really going to be caring to talk to you more than once or repeat themselves with you. And you really don't want to get into a situation where now you're 18, 19, 20 years old and not only do people don't want to talk to you, they don't even want to hear what the hell you got to say either. So parents, uh, I'm not saying you're not, uh, parents aren't talking to their kids and telling them right from wrong because I'm a parent as well and I know my kids have done plenty of things that I've taught them better to do and they've gone out and they've gone out there and done something different out there in the street. So I'm not saying parents need to start teaching their kids, right? Because we hear that too much, and parents teaching the kids, the kids just doing something on their own. But I will say, if possible, do a better job of monitoring and trying to reinforce uh, good behavior with your kids. Because again, um, we start hitting that 11, 12, 13, years old, and you know a lot of them not thinking about five, six years from now. You know all the consequences of the decision they make have been magnified because they're out of that realm of where when they get in trouble, mom and daddy can pick them up. Now they got to sit somewhere for a while and get them out of trouble. So I want to uh, just bring that up in regards to the actual the disrespect for authority. The second thing was, uh, especially at the elementary school level, and I can see it even when at the middle of high school level, a lot of these kids can't read too well. Parents, 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 you know, we need to make sure that if you're, if you're doing it, great, but if you're not – Make sure your child is reading. Now, a lot of times, a lot of that comes up because a lot of parents aren't readers. I get it. But not just reading. Just one thing, just to sit, pick up, pick up a piece of paper and recite the words that's on the piece of paper. The comprehension standpoint. Because what I was noticing was that a lot of the kids were just reading the words that was on paper. But then when you turn around and ask them a question about what they read, ask them a couple of questions that was in the passage, they couldn't in interpret or process a damn thing that... that uh, recited for about a good two or three minutes and we have to make sure that you know you're making your children read and also well the other part about making them read asking them questions about the passage that they read the reason why i want to say that needs to be reinforced is because far too often people growing up you know, young people growing up now with no kind of comprehension skills they don't know how to do they don't know how to reason things like that and these are the kind of skills that will help you be a productive adult because you have life situations going on, you have even work situations where if you don't know how to process, you don't know how to use any kind of deductive reasoning, you're going to be kind of, you know, more so like a damn robot. And a lot, far too often, you got too many people out here right now, they don't know how to process. They think they do, but they don't. And uh, it also makes challenges with future opportunities. Um, I'm not saying, you know, kids are smart or dumb or anything like that. But we're just talking about regular basic skills. But there were far too often too many Young people I'm seeing right now, they really don't know how to read well. Again, sometimes, you know, pronunciating words or certain things like that, I get that. But as far as knowing how to read and comprehend and process, that's a whole different dynamic. And that translates a lot to what happened right now with test scores and things like that, and even opportunities that were going further with certain job opportunities and even getting accepted into college. Um, one of the biggest drawbacks, I don't think the kids are doing enough reading. So parents, if you can, uh, if, you, if you're doing it already, great. But if you aren't, please make sure you're trying to get some kind of, you know, reading done at home. 20, 30 minutes a day, I think would be sufficient enough. So just want to drop that on you guys. I had, a, I had a blast dealing with the young people and everything. But there was two things that they're respecting authority and the uh, 
the lack of uh, reading comprehension. So definitely, parents, if you if those are things you can monitor with your children, please do it. You know, but again, I had a blast with them. And also, one big thing, guys, um, let's get out there more and try to just, you know, from a community standpoint. I know everybody don't like kids and everybody don't like dealing with kids outside of their own. But if you see some things that need to be corrected, don't feel too apprehensive about saying something to a young person, okay? Um, I understand the whole point of some some kids, even for the point I'm talking about now with the disrespect authority, some kids can just be, you know, they can frighten the hell out of you if you don't know them or anything like that. Totally get it. But if, you know, somebody you know, you feel comfortable about the situation, don't be too reluctant to try to correct incorrect behavior because if you don't say something now, you might be in a situation now that same kid or a product of the situation that you didn't address earlier might come back and bite you in the butt. Take care of yourself, guys. Talk to you soon.